Hello everyone and welcome to kind of a brand new uh, video series that I came up with. So um, basically, this is called Cyberbase Uncut and what that basically is are videos that I just record, upload, no edits, no jump cuts, no nothing. And these videos are mainly going to be based on testing out my LEGO base for, you know, how good they are for a, uh, you know, competitive style of video. Not really competitive since, you know, there's no like actual tournaments with my stuff, but either way, if you guys are curious on what bays that I built are good and what parts, what combos, whatever, this is the video series for you, so stick around. I hope you guys enjoy, as I will as well. So for the first episode, we are going to be checking out a really good defense combo that I found out um, just by um, messing around with some parts, which is usually what I do. So here's the combo. It is Kingdom Curvius 1D Zone. So. I specifically made it this way because I wanted to see if my zone tip was good for anything, and uh, this combo works very well. So I'll basically explain um, what these parts are. So first up we got Kingdom Curbius, aka Squishy Curbius, because these blades can kind of squish because of this little um, rubber tire in the center. And uh, this combo, um, or this bay blade, excuse me, um, is very heavy, very good for defense. Of course it has the impact absorption thanks to those blades. And it's a great uh, tank, just in general. It's really good. Uh, we're using 1D dash um, because uh, why not? It's good for defense uh, and stamina, but you know, for defense combos, you'd naturally want to use this part. And then zone. Now zone surprised me, but then after I thought about it, it doesn't surprise me. So it is a very thin tip. And at first I was like, oh, this thing is probably gonna be pretty bad at, you know, uh, staying in the stadium and whatnot, but then I realized that it actually does a pretty good job at clinging to the ridge, at least in the uh, Summit Stadium, which is what I'm using here, and also the uh, um, Pro Series Stadium. Probably works very well in there too. It all depends on the stadium, but for this stadium, it does work very well, and it makes sense since my Exceed Driver um, basically is the same thing, just attack and it clings to the ridge very well too. So really, it just makes sense that it's good. So um, uh, yeah, let's put this combo together. And uh, we're gonna test this out against some stuff. I'm first gonna test this out against Hyperion. Now, Hyperion really isn't that great anymore. Like, I mean, it can be, it can be used. Okay, that was a bad launch. Like, it can be used, but it's kind of on the lighter side now. Especially against like Kirbyus where it just kind of tanks all the hits because of how heavy it is. Like the combo is about like what, in the, it's like 32, 33 grams? Um, the stock is heavier because the defense driver it comes with is heavy, but even then this combo is still pretty hefty. So um, yeah, easily won that one. We're gonna do one more battle because I don't really want to waste my time on Hyperion. It's just, you know, it, it kind of stinks though because like it used to be good. But you can see just how it's just taking all of those attacks like they're nothing. Yeah, look at that. So, um, uh, yeah, so easily beat that. Now, um, I have done some off-camera testing with this combo. Um, for some reason, it tends to struggle against Cyber, um, Cyber Exo. Now, I don't know if that's because of, um, just because I was, like, getting lucky or something, but, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if today it feels like beating this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it just destroyed it. Cyber is, like, such a unit. Despite its very, like, small size, it actually does pack a pretty powerful punch, so... You know. Alright, let's try that again. With a better launch on um, Kirby's end this time. Yeah, it felt a lot more powerful there. Yeah, there we go. So you can see it just kind of took those hits in. So it's 1-1, one, one, so pretty much one more point until uh, either of them win. Oh, wow. It almost went out there, but it managed to hold its ground just barely, though. So it does kind of do this, like, leaning thing. Now, this can be useful, so, you know, it doesn't fall over and die. But it's also kind of a drawback, because I've had instances where it'll do that thing. I know that Wide Defense did it in Metal Fight, but sometimes it would, like, go like this, and if an attack type was going around, like, it would sometimes hit it out, and then, you know, that would happen. So, um, yeah, so I guess, like, 
like flat launching is a good counter for this combo. Let's actually try that out because you want to know the good combos, but you want to know how to, you know, be able to beat them. Uh, that's always useful. Not, not really, again, it's not a real meta that we're doing here, but you know, it's just, uh, just some interesting stuff. Okay, well, it kind of has to hit it first for it to do the actual, you know, um, like the triangle of doom, I think is what they call it. But yeah, that was kind of a bad example. Either way, uh, I think we're going to move on here to a different attacker. So we're going to do a uh, barbarian next, who is um, pretty powerful for attack. Maybe not in the stock, but we'll do some we'll do some combo switching. And oh my gosh, <laughs> I mean, my launches are off today, but we'll do some combo switching. We'll switch things up for the attack types, um, and we will see what works best. Yeah, so on Hyper, it is quite stationary, especially because of how I launched it, but, yeah, so, um, let's put it on, let's put it on Excel, why not, we'll put this thing on, um, the Excel tip, just because, um, I want to see, uh, as well, like, if this is better on, uh, like, more, like, controlled attack or, like, fast attack, which is probably a video I'll do in a later episode, because that's kind of important. Not all stuff works on, you know, the fastest thing. But again, we'll talk about that in a separate video, but it does seem like it's taking these hits, so I think we'll switch it to exceed, but we'll give it a chance. We'll give it a chance, and we'll see. Actually, what am I doing using exceed, or not, not exceed, excel? We obviously have to use spark, which is, you know, heavier and everything, so it should work a lot better. In case you don't know, Spark came out on Dragon, so... Uh, yeah. It's kind of an older bay, but hey, the driver's still good. Okay, yeah, this is not working out very well. We'll try it out one more time. One more time on the Exceed driver, if I can find it. There we go. Yeah, there we go. It's on Exceed, and it's red, too, so, you know. Bonus points for matching the color scheme. Obviously, that's the most important thing when building a Beyblade. Oh, what the heck, dude. Okay, I think that was just on me. I think that was just a poor launch. Yeah, it, it de it's dead there. It's dead. We don't need to wait that out. Let's try it again. Whoa, what the heck? It's kind of a hard beta launch. But yeah, again, it, it dies there. It dies there. Try that one more time. You know what? It could be the weight, because, like, um, Sentry really isn't the heaviest. I might have called it Siege earlier. I don't know. I always mistake the names, and if I haven't, then I just look even more like an idiot. Um, but we're going to move on from this. We're now going to switch over to uh, Dragon, which is a pretty big step up. Dragon, it's just really good. But here's the thing. Kirbyus was able to um, beat it in stock, so it's probably... Um, gonna beat it here too that did not feel good let's try that again but yeah in that video reviewing this uh Kirbyus, it was like the dragon counter so i don't really expect it to win here especially when i launch like that like what is this but even then like like drag it's still it's good i promise i promise dragon is still good after like what two Almost three years since it came out? I don't remember. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see. It's defending pretty good against Dragon. Yeah. I, I guess it's like Cyber that's really like pummeling it. I'm not sure why. I'd like to find out, but I probably uh, never will. Oh, wow. There we go. Yeah, see, you got some good attacks in there, but now it's just kind of dead. And, and, and yeah, that's a win. That's a win for Kirbyus. Just making sure, just letting that battle outlast. Um, but yeah, we got that. Uh, now we're going to test out um, Extreme. Uh, Extreme XO. Very weird bay um, to use. Like, it's good. Just kind of odd. Like, it has a lot more like raw attack than basically all of these other bays but it has nothing else no defense 
Well, there's some because it's exceed, but there's definitely no stamina. It's a very odd bay that I made. Oh, there we go. Okay, you see? It seems like the Exos are very good um, against uh, Kirby's. Maybe because it's green. Yeah, they're green. So, you know. You know how that works. It doesn't work. <laughs> um, also, since these are uncut, um, you're gonna. <laughs> so in a lot of other my in a lot of my other videos, you'll you'll kind of hear me put on a bit of a voice that sounds like you know smart. Um, but I got no I got no filter. I got no filter here. So this is just this is just me uh, making these uh, videos. So. Uh, that's gonna be kind of fun, but yeah, I think we're good with the attackers overall. It does do a very good job at tanking them. I know there's stuff like Minoboros and whatnot, but we don't really need to test that since that's not good, like at all. <laughs> if 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 like Dragon can't beat it, which is like 32 grams, like a 28 gram bay definitely can't beat it. But we're gonna test this out against some stamina stuff and some other defense stuff. So we're gonna do it against um, Hydra really quick. Which is probably not the best combo to show this off on. I mean, we can make like a like a stamina type, uh, like a better Hydra combo, but I probably will do that. Yeah. So here, let's real quick, like let's. Okay, I won that one, but that was because my launch was bad. So let's let me just show off like a pretty good stamina combo. I might do a future video on this, but for now, I'll I guess I'll show it off. So. Uh, Storm Hydra on oh not 1D. Um, so basically, okay. So if you guys remember um, FSB, it was a really dumb chassis I made. Um, it's now 3S, and then this is not the complete mold for 3S. Um, still a couple things I need to change to it, but um, for now we got 3S instead of FSB, which was a terrible, terrible thing that I made. And the Ray Driver that came on Hercules. This is a very good stamina combo. Just just in terms of raw stamina, it's probably your best bet. So we're gonna see how this combo will compare. Er, here's the thing, Ray isn't great for raw stamina, but it has some defense, unlike, um, you know, Survive and Rise and, you know, all those other stamina tips that I made. Edge, like back then, <laughs> um, back in like the classic turn system days, I made Edge. And I put it on a spin stealer for the stock. Yeah, that was stupid. That did not feel good. But um, yeah, so Kirby's did win that last match, but that couldn't absolutely be launch order. And if it's launch order, so if Hydra wins this round, then I'm gonna say that they have about the same amount of stamina. Now, these tests are obviously um, not 100%. You might have to test it on your own. But, you know. Oh, wow. Wait. <laughs> okay. All right. So, this combo is also very high on stamina. It does make sense. It's wide. It's round. Um, this thing, again, not, not great for, like, raw stamina. But, you know, it has, like, the defense. So, I'd say it's still better than, you know, surviving all that. Um, but we're going to test this out against... Um, Let's do a stock bay. Let's do Blaze Taurus. Now, I will say, if you don't want to build Kirbyus, which I understand why, you can substitute it for, like, Taurus, Blaze Taurus, or preferably Blaze Hydra, since that's heavier. But, um, uh, yeah, let's, let's see how it does here. Um, both really good for defense. Which one's better? I'm not that sure. They're both really good. Um, it does seem like, oh, wow. oh I, I couldn't even tell. I actually couldn't even tell. You could hold me at gunpoint. I would not be able to tell you who won that battle. So let's try it again. But I will say the horns on Taurus do actually hinder its performance. They can kind of make contact and destroy its own stamina like that. Like you, you saw it just kind of leaned. Yeah. So they make it heavier, but then it has that drawback. And I actually do kind of like that. Um, since we don't want this thing to win all the time, you know, we want it to, um, you know, be balanced, which is infinitely more fun than uh, having just one super OP Beyblade that just always wins. 
Okay, I felt my launch a be a lot stronger. Um, my launch was a lot stronger that time, so maybe Taurus will win. Oh, no, wait. Wow, okay. Yeah, so um, there isn't really a whole lot else we can test it out against. Uh, we can try making a combo with Taurus, so we're going to do that right now. So we're going to just do... Um, I think that just giving it, like, the um, the Hydra chip would be good, but I can't seem to find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so yeah, just giving it Hydra does help out since it's heavier. So, uh, you know, it'll probably be better. So let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. So now it has the Hydra chip. So... Uh, we'll see how it goes. And it still loses. Okay, one more. One more try. Then if uh, Kirby wins, then we can confirm that this is OP. And my launches. My launches with Kirby are, like, feeling super weak. I don't know if it's, like, because of the circle plate I'm using is, like, very grippy or something. But either way, like, oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay. There we go, C. C, Blaze Hydra. Took a point there. So, you know, it can be done. It can be beaten. But now I have to reverse the launch order. And, yeah, that launch felt really good with Kerbius. So, like, if you launch properly, unlike what I'm doing, I think it's pretty obvious who's going to win these battles. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay. So that was a fun little video of testing out this defense combo. Um, overall, dude, this thing is insane. It's very good at just kind of chilling in the center, tanking attacks. Hopefully we can make an attack combo that'll like uh, be able to beat this thing. I already have a couple ideas, but uh, that's another video for another time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this new style of video. I certainly enjoyed it. So yeah, comment, like, subscribe, stuff like that. And I'll see you in the next video.